The city of West Palm Beach disqualified the group originally selected to run the Sunset Lounge, alleging lobbying violations. That group filed suit, and today the trial got underway. Vita Lounge LLC filed suit last summer, claiming the CRA improperly and unlawfully disqualified them from an interview, Facebook post, and emails, which urged members of the community to show up at a selection meeting. On the stand today, the vice president of Vita Lounge LLC, Darren Cummings, testified that they did not violate city lobbying provisions. This is telling me that we contact or speak to the city commissioners or the mayor or city staff that wasn't part of the procurement that they gave us permission to contact and talk to. We didn't do that. Yeah, but the provision prohibits you from doing that. Yes, so that's why we didn't do it. Exactly, we didn't do it. The city's former procurement director contends Vita violated no lobbying provisions when a member of the Sunset Community Group, which Cummings is associated with, elicited members of the community to send emails to the city commission inbox prior to commissioner selection. The CRA later disqualified another bidder, again over alleged lobbying violations. That group claims they were improperly disqualified by a technicality. Entertainers like Ella Fitzgerald once graced the stage at the Sunset Lounge, dating back to the 1940s and 50s, which made it a premier African-American entertainment venue at a time of racial segregation. Today, the CRA's nearly $20 million revitalization of the historic venue in the city's northwest community sits empty and without an operator, costing the CRA about $13,000 a month. We reached out to the city for comment. A spokesperson in the mayor's office told us that they do not provide comment during active litigation. It's not clear if the mayor will be called to testify. The trial is expected to continue tomorrow. In West Palm Beach, Michael Butchner, WPTV News Channel 5.